G'day and welcome back to Unimi. Today I'm going to run you through the complete setup of the ViperCut 30 Mark II. First things first, make sure that you've got all the necessary PPE equipment needed to start plasma cutting. To set up the machine, firstly plug it into the 10 amp wall socket. Next, plug the earth clamp into the DINS connection and twist it to lock it into place. Then plug the SC30 plasma torch into the torch connection and twist it to secure it. The SC30 plasma torch that comes with this machine will already be set up, but if you need to set up this torch from scratch, you'll need a swell ring, an electrode, a cutting tip, and a retaining cap. We also recommend a standoff cutting guide, as this will help your consumables last longer. To put them together, simply place on the swell ring. Screw on the electrode, place on the cutting tip, and finally, screw on the retaining cap that holds it all together. If you're using the standoff cutting guide, this goes over the retaining cap. To connect the air compressor, attach the end of the hose to the air regulator on the back of the machine. If you're using a normal hose, not a quick connect, make sure to crimp it tightly into place. Set the air pressure to 0.5 MPA, which is equivalent to 75 PSI. That's our recommended air pressure. Once everything is plugged in and ready, you can switch the machine to on. To check that the compressed air is attached correctly and working, Hold down the air test button to test the air coming out of the torch. So to do any cutting, you'll need to attach your earth clamp to the workpiece or a metal bench that's touching your workpiece. Adjust your amps up or down with the control knob to suit your material thickness and travel speed. The Mark II now comes with the perforated cutting mode, so if you need to cut mesh or grate, you can switch between standard and perforated modes using the cut mode button. You can also now swap between 2T and 4T, so if you've got any longer cuts planned, you can press the 2T, 4T button and not have to worry about your finger fatiguing as it holds down the trigger for the whole time. And that's your Vipercut 30 Mark II. It's all set up and ready to go.